morning. Welcome to this training about the Gadget G150 Super Automatic Espresso Machine. I'm Sylvain, your host, a senior technician at the Convection of Oka Group. And we'll uh, look over the specifications of the G150 machine. First, for the installed machine, it is uh, mandatory to get two people to install the machine due to the weight of the machine. The machine weights about uh, exactly 144 pounds, so of course it's a heavy piece of equipment. Uh, also, for the dimensions of the machine, we're looking at a machine that is 14 and a half inches wide, uh, 31 inches tall with the short legs, uh, gives us a 33.6. Uh, inches in height with the extended legs, uh, extended legs for NSF uh, certification. Uh, it's also 23.1 inches deep. You need a minimum clearance of roughly about two inches on the back of the machine to be able to feed the, uh, the water hookup and the power cord through the back underneath the machine. Left hand side of the machine, you need some clearance as well to be able to service the machine, turn the machine around. On top of the machine, you need enough clearance to be able to refill the two bean offers, also the soluble canister. And on the right hand side as well, especially if you install the machine with the milk fridge next to it. Electrical requirements, you need two phase of 120, so in total at 240 volt. Capacity 60 Hertz, 3690 watts, power consumption, equipped with a NEMA L1430 plug. No extension cord nor power strips should be used with that kind of appliance. And also make sure that you got a dedicated breaker for the machine, so as to protect the machine. Water pressure must be between 21.7 and 123.3 pounds per square inch. As for the water pressure, should be cold tap water. pH range should be in between 6.5 and 7.5. And the total hardness required for this machine, considering the fact that it's an espresso machine that will affect the taste and the, uh, the drinks that comes out from the machine, the total hardness should range in between 89 and 142 particles per million. Softness and filtration system, the skating device is mandatory. You got a real espresso machine, so of course the water quality is going to affect tremendously the quality of the product that comes out. Coffee beans to be used on the machine, it is strongly recommended to use espresso roasted beans. If you don't use espresso roasted beans, this will impact the product that comes out, but also it's going to impact the uh, maintenance schedule to be done on the machine. So it is strongly recommended to use espresso roasted beans on the two bean uppers. A good quality product for the salt bowl or the chocolate canister. Usually a good quality product is going to turn around four bucks a pound. So again, the turnaround time for the bean uppers and the soluble canisters, you should go through the whole canister within a week. This again will impact the way the machine works and dispenses your products. Inside the machine, you got two boilers to the system. Uh, you got the coffee boiler and also the steam hot water boiler. Also make sure to keep uh, your maintenance schedule up to date. This will impact tremendously as well the way the machine works and make sure that you do maintain your machine proper. This might affect the warranty of your machine and the worst case scenario it would void your warranty if the maintenance is not done on it. Before installing the machine, highly recommended, well actually it is mandatory to fill the pre-installed requirements sheet that should be provided with each machine. And you can also use the uh, shoot hole template to mount the machine on the countertop to make sure that you got the right clearances for the, uh, the 